Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Where are my new lines going to go? I'm going to do one line from Lacrosse Transfer over to Upper St. Paul over there. And then another new line is going to go from Upper Rochester into Upper St. Paul. And that's going to go in on the same road in that way. And then another new line is going to... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I uh, don't want that one. I want another new line. That one's going to run from St. Cloud Transfer into Upper St. Paul. And then finally, the last new line. I know I only need to do three of them, but I'm going to do all four of them. That one's going to run into Upper St. Paul as well. So Upper St. Paul is the place to be. That is where we've got all the people and where all the vehicles are going to be coming into. So all i got to do now is get the new buses out onto the various lines. I'm just going to send them all out from here because they all come into that one there. So that's where all the lines are going. How many have I got? I got four, four and four lines. So I'll put one on each line to start with. I will buy four vehicles. Not enough vehicles at this time. What? Buses available, one of seven. Three. Oh, zero. So yeah, I've got four buses available at the running at the moment. Line one has got Northern Farmer. Line two has got Genin 99. Line three has got Owen Vessel. And then line five, the other bus line, has got Micta. That's the training line. So I need four altogether. I've only got those. So I'll name these up and we'll get them onto various different roads a second. I have Jared Nolan, Ken Miller, and Paulius. I'm going to start speeding it up, and we will assign these to three different lines. So the first one is going to be line six, which is down to Rochester. So I would go Jared Nolan. You are going to be uh, orange, and you're going to go on to line six. And then Ken Miller, you are going to be line seven, so you are brown and set on line seven. Uh, Paulius, you're going on line 8. So I will set you as green, and I will set you on line 8, like that. There. So I've now got... If I have a look. Line 8 up there. We've got line 7 over there and line 6 over there. So I've got those three lines running and doing an absolutely wonderful job, and our vehicles should all be coming out. We've got Jared Nolan over there. Racing on up this way, ready to head off to the first long distance bus transport. And I've already got somebody here waiting. Upper Rochester, right here. I've got i I've actually got seven people here waiting. They are keen. Millie Paddle, Harper Roberts, destination industrial build, building via line seven. Built in 1920, workplaces eight. Millie Paddle, Destination Industrial Building. That's where she's going. The industrial building right there, built in 1920. That's her new place of employment. So she's all the she's going heading all the way out over there. And we've got buses going out to all of these different places. Look at all these people here. Theo Wood. There's 16 people on line seven. Ken Miller right here, he's got space for nine. So we're a little bit short on people. There's, there's some people there who are going to be waiting rather a long time before they're actually able to get to their desired destination. St. Cloud up over here. St. Cloud Transfer has got 22 people sat there ready and waiting. Eau Claire doesn't have anybody yet, but then I don't have any bus. 29 people here. This has even got one of these. Some passengers leave because station is overloaded. I've actually got too many people at the station for the size of station. Oh, I see. Right. Well, if I go here and I go configure, passenger right there, I can't. Thus, buildings will be removed if I go out that way. I will bring that out. I will extend that one up. I will extend that one up further. 
I won't go any more than that for now. You can't go out any further. Because you end up with a collision and so do you. So we, we don't want that. But you can keep going. As could that one. That one can go without causing any damage. Right. I'll leave it like that for a minute, which means I've now got 30-odd people at the lacrosse transfer. So I'm able to make those bigger if I want to, and so we can allow for more passengers going in there. Like Rochester over here, there's 20 odd, there's 27 odd people in there, so we'll configure you and add in more people for you as well. So passenger right there. Building will be removed. I put that. Your business is running fabulously. Oh, wow. Although your passengers are getting seriously bounced around on the out-of-town routes, the roads are in a poor state. Relief is supposed to come via a government program to fund road construction. Support the efforts toward road improvement so that the ride in your buses is more comfortable in the future. Make sure the road construction proceeds quickly by taking over delivery of the necessary construction materials. Supply the road maintenance depots with a total of 100 construction materials and 100 asphalt so that roads can be built quicker. Right, that's why we weren't able to upgrade our roads, because we haven't got that bit done yet. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to set up one bus going on the Eau Claire line. And before I do that, I'm going to do First this... First and foremost, it takes one thing to make a successful business even more successful. Good marketing. That not only includes employees with meticulous manners and snappy uniforms, it means good-looking buses, too. Provide for a well-done presentation scenario down to the last detail. How do I do that? Hooray! Lots of colourful buses cheerfully curve across the Midwest, and no one has a clue that they all belong to one and the same company, which probably wasn't the smartest move when it comes to advertising. Seriously? Paint all the buses the same colour. I've only... I paint my buses according to line. Now I've got to paint them all the same colour. Not sure I agree with this particular scenario, but uh, there we go. So if I go... Right, that's all. There. I go all like that. I have got a wonderful selection of buses right there. I take the yellow bam off of that, and I will assign everybody to red for a minute. Uh, I'm guessing yellow bam's probably got to be red as well then, because it didn't come up as completed. So let's uh, paint him red as well. Not enough vehicles. What do you mean, not enough vehicles? Okay, so I've... Oh, wait a minute. Paint buses. Paint the buses at least five, for at least five lines in a different colour. Repaint the buses all the same colour. So I've actually done some of it. Corporate identity. It said accept. Paint buses. At least five lines in different colours. Now I've got to repaint them all the same colour. But I don't have enough vehicles for that yet. So I do want to go back to what I was going to be doing over here. And buy another Schneider. I'm actually going to buy three more Schneiders here. And I'll just name them very quickly in a minute. Real Hugh 1884, Jubal Williams and Elliot Agriwill. And I'm just about to get another bus as well. So as soon as that one turns up, there we go. We will buy one more. And I will name you as well. We will go into there. Uh, this one is David uh, Caulfield. Not Dalfield, Caulfield. There. David Caulfield. Right there. So I need to have one of these. Actually, you know what? We're gonna. I'm gonna paint them all red because I've got to have everything the same color. Your buses are easily recognised, even at a distance. Their colour stands for top quality. There's a name for all this. It's called corporate identity. Okay. I don't want corporate identity. I've got no interest in corporate identity, so I want to go back through, and I'm gonna have to paint them all the correct colours. So we will start off by. 
assigning David Caulfield to line 9. You will be that colour and you will go to line 9. And then I'm going to start spreading these out between the other lines again. Uh, we'll do the long distance lines into town first. So I have two on each of them. So I want uh, you on line six. I want Gerbil Williams on line eight. And real Hugh. Oh, line seven. Don't forget line seven. And like that. So then line one is... Northern Farmer, he's fine. Jenin, 99, it needs to be yellow. Owen Vessel needs to be pale green. Yellowbam needs to be a light blue. Micta is going to be pink. Then we've got Egri uh, Elliot, Agriwill, and Jared Nolan, who are both orange. Ken Miller, Real Hugh are both brown. Gerbil Williams and Paulius are both green. And finally, over here in line four, we've already got David Caulfield, who is in blue. Right, those are fine. I got another one, actually, that is now just come up available. So I will buy there. You are... Who are you, actually? What? what who are you? You are ADK Gamer. ADK Gamer is also going to be blue there and is going to go onto line nine and then the next two that i get one will go onto line one and one will go onto line two line three will stick with just one we won't have any more for that one i now need to set up and deliver construction materials so i need to deliver asphalt and construction materials where have i got to deliver them to supply road maintenance depots with a total of 100 construction and 100 asphalt so here is a road maintenance depot, Minneapolis Asphalt Plant. There's no road depot over there. Minneapolis Road Maintenance. Rochester Construction Materials. Right, so all I need to do to start with is have a road going from here to the Minneapolis Road Maintenance Department. And I'm thinking, rather than going out and round and up and back, we'll put a road straight in across here. Because roads are not all that expensive. Not these cheap roads that we're going to be using. So if I do that, there, for 30 grand, wallop that one down across there. And then I can go to buildings and I can go to a truck station like this and... For now, we'll go with a small truck station like that. And I will rotate that one around a bit. And I will drop that one right there. And then we'll come down this way. There's the farm. It's this one that I want to be close to. Okay, I can get both of them on that one right there. So, yeah, but I don't want to do that. I'm not going to have a need for that. We'll have a separate one with a separate line. So we'll we'll spread them out ever so slightly. So that one's going to go to there. And then I'm going to want to deliver construction material and deliver asphalt. It doesn't actually say where they've got to be delivered. Though, I'll tell you what. Might be an idea if we have a look on here. Production type, stored, suppliers. Mm. For now, we'll have the Minneapolis asphalt plant delivering materials over this way as well. So they're going to come in, they're going to go across that bridge and come along here down this way. So it's not going to be... I'm wondering if it was beneficial to bring them along there across that bridge straight. Well, there isn't a straight across. They would go along... So basically, they would come out and along this way, down that spoke and straight down to here. Or we could build a road across here and have them go out that way and up there. I think along this one. We'll take the existing roads. We will just upgrade that one ever so slightly. So I go into streets. I'll put one there. And I will bring that one out like that. Perfect. Just like that. So I can put a, a line in from each side. So I then want to go to lines like here. And I want to take a new line. We're go oh, wait. No, not yet. I don't want a new line. Not yet. Because i got to put a bus thing. Uh, uh, sorry, a truck stop up here. So take a truck stop. Now, this is the one that's in town. So we're going to put three each side. It's going to be a 30 meter one as well. I want a nice big truck stop in here. Let's whiz that one around a bit. There isn't room to put it on that side. This one's going to have to go over here. 
right on the edge of town. I can go in there like that. That does not supply the town. Right, if I want that to supply the actual town, I've got to put it in up here, and then I'll have to have, like, an extra road coming in or something like that. Or I put it on the outskirts of town. Like this. I could put that one... Right up here, on the outskirts of town. Too much slope, buildings would be removed. I want to put that one there in the middle, I think. You look at where those buildings are. I don't have any room for expansion if I drop it in there, which is one thing that I would need to take into account, but that is close enough, and that does supply half of Minneapolis already without me having to do anything, which is a good thing. That's kind of what I want from something like this. And, of course, the other option is if we put it out, if, if we do put it out over here, we'd then just have a delivery route in around the town. Which may be another good thing to do, I suppose. I don't know. Like, that allows room for expansion. Although, the best room for expansion would be up here. Get rid of that road. Uh, actually, if I remove that road, we could put this one up here. Too far away. Needs to go there. Bring it down that way as close as I can to that road. Rotate it slightly. Drop it there. Right, that's where we're going to put it. That's the location. That does allow us to get that one over there. We've got the road over here. And then if I go to configure in here, I have got room... To expand a little bit out. I can't go on that one over that side. I'd have to delete that road and just move the road out a little bit. But I have got room for some expansion work going out this way. Right. That's 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 good. So long as we've got some room for adjustment on here, that's, that's all we really need. Now I can start doing the roads. So we want a new line that is going to go from the middle of town in here, St. Paul Sidings. That one is going to run all the way over to Rochester Holt. Line 10, which I didn't actually complete, that one's Rochester East over to Rochester Holt. Nice simple line on there. I'd actually like to do them the other way round. So I'm going to do that the other way round. The reason being is I'd like the purple vehicles coming into the middle of town. I just think they will look cool. It's the only reason. So we'll have the purple ones coming into the middle of town. So I'm going to do that way around like that. And then these pink ones over this side. Add station. You. Back to there. There's those four. Uh, two, two routes. Sorry, not four routes. There's two routes there. It might be enough just feeding that one line over there. Now this one here. So I'm going to do five trucks on each line. To start off with, I'd actually probably want to do... Hmm. Alright, I will do five running this route right here, and then we will do seven, I would think, running the other line. That's how we'll do it. So let's go to buy vehicles. We will start off with five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And then I want another seven for the other line. Actually, I've only got six available. No, I haven't. I've got nine. I had nine available. Right. If I had nine available, I want to leave two behind. Uh, Sixteen now. What did I say? I want five and seven. That is five and seven. Right. So we're going to take Alluvian, Evo 8, James Brownlee, James Newton, and Carl Boyer. You are going to be assigned pink over there. And you are going to go onto line 11 which is the shorter run. Then we're going to have Massey Man, OHE 84, Papa Power, Sad Tomato, Snow Fox, Thor, The Maltese Panda, and Tim Tim. You are all going to be colored purple like that, and you are all going to go onto line 10, which is the one that goes into town. So there we go. We're all racing out onto the streets. All assigned their various different colors, and in they come straight into town in here. St. Paul Sidings. Right in here, I've already got the materials being loaded up right there. 
They're taking their time. Snow Fox is just loading up a few. She's got three on board. And OHE has now got two on board. So we are very quickly taking things out from the Minneapolis asphalt plant. And then over this side, we're just waiting for the rest of them to come on out through from the Rochester Holt. I've got James Newton, James Brownlee, Carl Boyer, Evo 8 and Alluvian racing down this way enthusiastically. And I'm hoping the uh, Rochester East will be able to get materials from here. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen just yet. Because they're not getting any stone coming in. So I've got to get construction material. And that ain't going to happen. Until I've gotten the construction material built. So I need to get stone over here. Stone quarry is this side. So I've got to deliver that stone over here to this one. Now, I built a bigger road. Let's slow that down a little bit. I built a bigger road right there, going through lacrosse, and then we've got the lacrosse transfer up there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into here, streets, and we're going to upgrade the main road that runs through the town. I've got one main road that runs up that way through the town, but now I'm going to upgrade this one over here. One building is going to be removed. One? That's a lot of buildings. And go there and go there like that. So I've got a nice big road that has just gone right the way through the lower part of town. It's kind of like a bypass situation that we've got. That is going to go across here. Why can I not build across there? Collision. Why can I not build a bridge? I can build a bridge there. I simply am not allowed to... T it's, it's because of where it comes out of there. So what I'm going to need to do instead then is I'm going to need to demolish that and go back there like that. Then we will go back into road construction and I will build a road across there like that. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Is that where I want it? That can go like that. Now, that's the cheaper bridge like that. So we will do the cheaper one. And I put you in there. Then I will take a two-lane road here. And that one needs to move up a little bit. Because of where it was down there, it's not able to join in properly. So we can still have that street there. It's just that it needs to be moved up ever so slightly. The, the town will recover from that. Fear not. And then I can take this type of road, which we will be able to upgrade later without any problems. And I can run that one up to there. Next, I want to go into buildings and I want to take the truck station. This is just going to be a 1-1. One, one. I can leave it with 30 meter station on it. Platforms. And I'm going to put you over here. Although it would be useful to be able to go over to that one. You know what? That's fine, because this is the one that we're using at the moment. So i got you right there, which means that I need to build another road. Another line, rather. That one is going to go from there. It's going to come out, and it's going to go over to there like that. Right, that is a very long way to travel at the moment. I mean, to start with, I'd have to go all the way up there if I wasn't able to go across the river. So that would cause me some problems. It's all right for a minute. So I will do that, and then I will go back to the road depot up here. I'm going to try and do all of it with one road depot this time around, I think. Uh, we go back to the Mac AC flatbed like that. How many can I? I got four available. So I will buy the four that I have available for a minute. Like this. We will give them some names. Golub98, Jaybird1788, The Coffee Cup, and Twin Cam Gaming. You are all going to be coloured that colour, that yellowy, orangey type colour. And you're going to go to line 12. Right. There away. Now, they're going to go... That one, at the moment, goes all the way up around there. What I also want to do is I then want to take the roads. Go to streets. I'm going to bring you in around. And I'll plonk you on the end of there. Like that. 90 grand. Drop that on there. So now what it should do 
It's automatically changed it and gone to a much straighter line on there rather than going all the way up round. That's good. That's what we want. We would like it to do things like that. It makes life a little bit easier. Uh, if I'm going to have a bus route between Eau Claire and La Crosse, I don't think I'll build more bridges. We don't, we don't really want to do that at the moment. Let's rush things along a little bit. Look at the number of passengers that I have got in town in here. We need to get more buses out on the roads. I've got six buses available at the moment. So I'm going to buy all six. Not enough. It, rubbish, there's not enough. Uh, one, two. There is enough. Don't keep telling me there isn't. It's because I'm clicking fast. It doesn't like me clicking fast to go and buy them all. It's supposed to be slow and steady. They believe around here that slow and steady wins the race. When I happen to know that this is not true. Slow and steady very rarely wins any races. Uh, line 3 stays the same. Line 2 and line 1, I'm going to assign an extra few vehicles to each of those two lines. I've got 6, so we'll put 3 extra on each of them. So we will take Andre Diu, Dirk Mandarin, and Jeff Bezos. And we will give you red, and we will assign you onto line one. Then Logic Gaming, Peter Kinez, and Shmuel the Gamer, you are going to have yellow, and you are being assigned onto line two, like that. So that'll keep you six out of mischief for a little while. And it should help the people start moving through the city a little bit better. Like in here, we, we've got... 36 people waiting at that bus stop right there and I've only I did only have one bus working on there on here This is just fan schmabulous. I got 36 people 19 some passengers leave because stations overloaded. That's just for line 9 Right, where's line 9? I don't have enough people on here Line 9 is going through there So, Upper St. Paul. Terminals. There we go. Right. One, two has got line three and line one. Terminal three has got... Oh, no. Terminal one has got line seven. With two people waiting. No. Terminal two. Select terminal for this stop. Right, that's the terminal numbers, and then that's the line numbers that we've got on there. So, line 1 and line 2 both being on 3. 2 has only got line 1 on it. There's hardly anybody using that. So, this is what I want to do, is I want to move some of these around. The out-of-town ones. That one there, I, I need that one to... Line 1 will go on to there. Right. How do I configure the terminals? Ah, right. Okay, so you, I don't want you on Terminal 2. I want you assigned to Terminal 2. I'm going to assign you onto Terminal 1 like that. And then I'm going to take Line 1. I'm going to assign that one onto Terminal 2. So i got to double up on that one. Because Line 3 is utterly pointless. It doesn't do anything. So then if we go to our overview, I've got Line 6... The lacrosse transfer, that has got a lot of people on it. But it's all by itself. There's not a lot else I can do with that one. Now, next up, we go to the passenger tabs right here. I cannot increase the size of the bus stop. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers, and lorry drivers, and bus drivers, and boat drivers, and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea, if you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.